loves, welcome back to my channel. It is Sierra here and today I'm going to be doing a first impression of some new products that I got from my L Organics, the new Mongongo line. And I have been waiting to get my hands on these products since I heard that they were being released at Curl Fest. I was just waiting to get my hands on these products. So today I'm going to be giving you my first impression. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial later on this month. So stay tuned if you want to see a tutorial of me using these products. I just got back in Texas from a trip to the beautiful windy city of Chicago where I was invited to a private bloggers dinner where I met some beautiful ladies. We had a fantastic dinner and we got to learn a little bit more about this line and hear the behind the scenes of the idea of this line and also meet the founder Monique. So thank you to Mayo Organics for having me out in Chicago and thank you for sponsoring this video. This line is the Mongongo oil line and it consists of six products. Now the theme of this line is versatility. So this line is kind of for those people who want to put heat on their hair, those people who don't want to put heat on their I wanted to come and share with you guys my impressions of this line. Do I think it's worth going out and buying it just by learning about it? Um, because I'm a fellow product junkie and this is the things that I would like to know. This line's key ingredients is Mongongo oil, which comes from a nut from a South African tree. It is known for protection of the skin and hair. It is also known to be repairing, hydrating, and protecting the hair from everyday damage like heat, you know, sun damage, things like that. This is what Mongongo oil is known for. So it is in every single one of the products in the line. So first off, we have the Mongongo oil exfoliating shampoo. The shampoo says it's to clarify and deep cleanse and to remove buildup without stripping the hair of its natural oils. And it is certified with organic ingredients to nourish and promote healthy hair and scalp. And the directions say to follow up with the hydrating deep conditioner and it also says that you only need about a dime size amount and I'm expecting this to be really lathering since you only need a dime size amount. As far as the smell of the product, it has a really nice smell. It's kind of like a fruity, very sweet smell. It smells really good. So two thumbs up for the smell on this product. I honestly cannot wait to try this, especially because it says exfoliating. So I have a feeling that it's going to be doing something to the scalp and I need every part of this. The next product I have here is the Mongongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. This conditioner is protein free and if you are like me, one of your holy grail conditioners is the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This is like holy grail for me. This conditioner is not, this conditioner is not a replacement for the Babasu oil. It is an alternative option if you want to go protein free, if your hair is protein sensitive. I know I get a lot of DMs and questions about deep conditioners. A lot of ladies say, I am protein sensitive. What's a good deep conditioner that I can use? So this is definitely one that you can try. The consistency of this deep conditioner. That would have been so bad. Okay. So the consistency of this deep conditioner seems to be pretty thick. The smell is exactly like the exfoliating shampoo. It smells light, sweet, flowery, fruity. So it's on the sweet side. It's way thicker than the Babasu oil. This one's a little bit watery. It's on the medium thickness side. This one tends to be pretty thick. I'm really excited to try this. You guys know I am a deep conditioner junkie. If there is one product that I cannot live without, it has to be deep conditioner. Well, moisturizer too. I'm a deep conditioner junkie. And I actually use all my deep conditioners up. So I can't wait to try this. And again, it's not a substitute for the Babasu oil. This is Holy Grail. It is an alternative option because this is protein free. And I'm so happy that they came out with a protein free deep conditioner because a lot of ladies are protein sensitive. I feel as my hair can be protein sensitive at times. A lot of deep conditioners have protein in them. But when I'm really doing a protein treatment, I like to do one once a month and if you're like me, you deep condition every single wash day and I wash my hair usually once a week so that's a little bit too much protein to be putting on my hair once a week so I'm super happy to have a protein free alternative. The next product I picked up is the Mongongo Oil Pre Shampoo Treatment. This Pre Shampoo Treatment is just like a pre-poo but it's all in this package. This has a really minty smell. 
So I'm really excited because I'm hoping it has like that tingling feeling just like the Bible Sleep Oil Deep Conditioner because that feeling is like live, it's so relaxed. This is going to precondition your cuticles so they'll be ready for manipulation. And I'm hoping that it's gonna help detangle my hair before I shampoo it is to soften and condition the hair before shampooing. I'm really hoping it works well with slip because that is my main focus when using a cream poo is to help manage my hair, make my hair a little bit more manageable so I don't have to cause a lot of tension while trying to just detangle my hair before the shampooing process. So this product, the Mongongo Oil Style Setting Spray, is to protect your hair from indirect heating styles. And I would say that would be like blow drying, that would be like sitting under the dryer when you're trying to do like a flexi rod set or a perm rod set. So this I'll definitely be getting a use out of this. I don't flat iron or curl my hair straight in my hair and I don't plan to. So I will get the thermal and I'll probably add that sometimes when I do blow drying because I do kind of worry about my curls being damaged from just blow drying them, sometimes stretching my wash and goes, or if I have to sit under the dryer because my perm rod set or braid outs are taking too long to dry, I do just wanna add something to make sure it has some protection. So I will be using this style setting spray and trying it out with my wash and goes because I do usually stretch them, so I'm gonna do this to add some protection. Also some few other products from the line that I didn't pick up but I will be getting soon, which is a pomade to oil treatment. It's a pomade to oil, so it's a pomade when you squeeze it out and I guess it goes into an oil. And it's for soothing dry scalp, eliminating frizz, and adding shine to your hair. So that is everything from the line. If you ladies have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel. You don't wanna miss out on weekly videos. Also, I'll have a tutorial and demo up soon of me using these products and I'll let you guys know my initial review after using them. I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Leave me down some comments below any questions you have, if you're excited to try this line, if you've ever tried Mayo Organics, and if you did, if so, how did you like it? I'll see you ladies in my next video. Stay blessed.